Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCullen, and today we're out here on the range. I'm kidding Ian, don't sue me. <laughs> but today we have a cool gun to review on the channel today. It's called the Altor. It's literally the most, I'm going to say it, it's the most useless gun <laughs> that there is. I was going to say it could be useful for certain situations, like in the wilderness or something like that which I guess if you just had this and you could throw it in a pack, you could pick up one of these for like $129-ish. They're really cheap. They're really simple. This is just like a plastic frame and it has obviously a stainless barrel, which is pretty cool, which means it's not gonna rust. Good thing it's not blue. But this is the Altor pistol. You've seen a lot of videos on it by now, I'm sure, which I feel like the only people who really own this gun are YouTubers, by the way. So I'd say they're pretty rare. I don't think really many people outside of YouTube own these or review channels or something like that. I think that no one in their right mind is gonna buy this, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't. The really cool part about this thing is that you can put it in a backpack or something like that. Let's say you go hiking, just throw this in your backpack where it's stainless steel and plastic. It's not gonna rust or nothing. I think of this more as of a survival gun than a self-defense gun in my opinion. This is the 9mm version. They have it in 9mm and 380. But this is a really unique... Oops. But this is really a unique gun. There's nothing really out there like it. There was a gun made, I believe, in the 80s, I believe, 90s? No, it might have been earlier than that. There was a gun made of, like 30 to 60 years ago that was kind of like this. It was a single shot, but it was made specifically for the FBI. Why does the FBI need a throwaway gun? Don't ask me, but they're really cool. I've dropped this gun three times today and it's still together. <laughs> it's really awkward. The front of it's so heavy that it just wants to fall forward. Like it's just, and there's nothing really to grab onto. The grips aren't that good. It has a threaded barrel. And this one, like I said, is in nine millimeter. Here's the receiver. It's just like this plastic receiver, stainless steel internals and stuff really weird let me show you how to load this thing well you pull this back turn the barrel and the barrel comes off you take your nine millimeter right here and there's little grooves that you stick the nine millimeter down in like that which this is scary i'm putting the safe on because that could go off like that which would suck <laughs> but then you take your barrel and you put your barrel on and right there it has two safeties on it see one right here at my thumb right here and then one is the barrel right now it's on safe if you can see that it says safe right on the side of it and then to fire you just turn it another notch and now it's ready to fire but you still have the other safety back here that won't allow it to fire so you just push that off and then you're ready to fire. But we're not shooting this just yet. I'm taking this back apart because I want to show you more weird things about this gun. I feel like when he was creating this, he wasn't thinking of it as a self-defense gun. I believe it was mainly for survival or something like that. It's the only thing that really makes logical sense to me because the way the trigger is. Okay, like I said, there's nothing here. It's empty, empty chamber, empty barrel. To, to fire this, what you do, you pull this little lever back and then it slips off your finger right here. You just pull it back and it automatically takes off your finger with the little ramp right here, little ramp thingy. And it's funny that at SHOT Show in 2020, he brought this gun there to SHOT Show to show it off and he had the price on it at, I think it was like $79, which I paid 129 for this. So that's quite a bit of a markup, like $40 more. If it was seven, it should be 79. This is a $79 gun all day long. It's not a $129 gun. By no means it's $129. This is made in the United States in Arizona, by the way. Just so you know, it's made in the United States. For some of you guys who are so bound and determined to buy something made in the United States, here you go. Here's what's made in the United States for $129. Have fun with it. Now, another thing about this gun, the barrel is actually a little bit loose. You can hear it. So it's not going to be accurate at all. I already have shot this a few times. It's kind of fun watching someone new shoot it because it has so much recoil because <laughs> it weighs nothing and there's you can't get a good grip on it either. So it's, it's really funny to watch someone shoot it. It always reminded me of, you know, those spray can nozzles that you can buy for spray cans that go on top of the spray can. So it looks like an actual spray gun. 
That's it. This looks like a spray gun nozzle. Just saying. It looks more like a toy than anything else. You could throw this in a toolbox and no one would think it's a gun. Just saying. It, like, no one would think that. I brought the chronograph out today because we're going to see how fast it shoots out of this barrel. Since it's such a small barrel, you got to think this whole big part right here is all the chamber. So it only has like an inch and a half of it. Very short barrel. I'm curious to see how slow it shoots 9mm out of. And what we'll be shooting is just Winchester 9mm Luger rounds. Nothing fancy, not NATO or nothing, just Luger rounds. It says nowhere on the box how fast that shoots, so I can't really compare it to another pistol. I mean, I could, but I don't feel like doing that. But before we get on to the shooting, I want to say thank you to Core. They sent me this jacket and a belt for concealed carry. It's a really nice belt. I'll take it off and show you here in a second. You got your pistol. Don't laugh at my, uh, don't laugh at my holster. But Core makes some nice stuff. See, they got a, like their belt right here. Uh, this clasp is actually solid steel like this thing is nice quality and you can choose whatever color belt you want whatever belt end you want and they'll throw it together for you but the thing that makes core belts really cool is if you look at the strip you see those little notches those are so you can adjust this belt in increments of like a quarter inch which is insane because you know most belts and belt holes are like an inch and a half apart well like this one you just run the belt through and you can hear it clicking. And you can see what it's doing back here. And then to release it, you just... So you can choose how tight you want it. It's perfect for carrying guns because, you know, if you get a belt that's too loose, it's not gonna holster the gun right. And if you get one that's too tight, well, you're not gonna be able to put the gun in. So this makes it very versatile. I've been wearing this now for a few weeks, well, close to two weeks. And I've been using it as a belt as well. It actually makes a really nice belt alone by itself. So thank you to Core for sending me this. Really cool. And let's get to shooting. No, they did not pay me to show this off. They just sent it to me and had me look at it and put it in a video. So it's cool. Look, they have nice jackets too. These jackets are actually really nice. They've got metal ends and everything. Really nice stuff. Good quality. <laughs> All right, first let's chronograph this thing and see where it shoots. I'm really curious to see how fast this thing shoots with a barrel that small. All right, let's get a reading. Let's see what it does. This gun's scary to me, to be honest. <laughs> All right, safe. It's on fire. Here we go, let's see what it does. You see right here. Oh, I'm so scared of this gun, guys. And that's what your cartridge does. You just pick it up slides out and it's not going to read it we'll try it again hopefully it'll do it this time because if not i'm just not going to do it <laughs> okay here we go second time We got a weird reading. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you see that? <laughs> well, this ain't gonna work. Unless this shoots 7,800 feet per second, <laughs> which is like faster than like, it's twice as fast nearly as a 22250, which is like stupid fast. So that's not gonna work. It was worth a shot. So we just determined that this is the most powerful gun in the world off that test definitely not the chronograph's fault this thing has more power than a 50 bmg which is insanely awesome the calculation came out to more powerful than a 50 bmg out of a 50 bmg rifle everybody's sleeping on this gun right now it's the best deal that you can buy literally the calculation was like almost a thousand foot pounds of energy more than a 50 bmg <laughs> I was just wanting to look, it's stupid. No, that thing's messed up. I don't know what the deal with it is. It should have worked. <laughs> but all right, now let's do a, an accuracy test. I'm gonna aim for the box back here and I'm gonna show you how inaccurate it is. I hope I can even hit the box. I'm gonna be aiming for the center of it. 
I didn't draw a dot or nothing because it doesn't matter because I might miss anyways. So let's try it. All right, I may be 25 feet away and see if I can hit it. I don't even think I can hit it, honestly, but we'll try. The way the trigger is, it's bad. I actually hit it that time. Eject the shell. Dang, this thing is loud. Let's, I'll show you where I hit it. This is the box. See where I hit it? Right there. I was aiming here and it shot there. So actually, not too bad. I was expecting a lot worse. And check this out. This tree fell onto my target. I had to repair it. Wait. Wait, I thought it was it like shoved this thing completely into the ground. You can see where mud was. It was like jammed up to here. It was so, like this tree fell directly on this corner and knocked all the way into the ground. Yeah, I need to get rid of that because it's blocking my range now and it's a little bit shorter. <laughs> see, this usually sits right there. So I'm gonna have to get a chainsaw and cut that, up, cut that out. As you can tell, it's really not good for much. I mean, that, that's pretty good. I'm surprised I hit the box, honestly, because the other day when I was shooting it, it was pretty, pretty freaky <laughs> it's cool i do think you should pick one up because i don't see them going anywhere but up in value when the company goes out of business if it goes out of business i should say or even after that it's just something really weird no one's gonna have and it's gonna be one of those things that people want because it's ridiculous well thank you to you guys for subscribing we surpassed 10,000 subscribers and 2 million views which is insane i want to say thank you to core for sending me the belt and the jacket really nice stuff you need to check them out but like I said, mainly you guys are awesome. And the nice comments is what keeps me going, honestly. Like I got a really nice comment last night and I was like, man, I've got, I've got to make some cool stuff and I've got to get on it. <laughs> so thank you guys for the nice comments and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'll have something cool coming up. I know one of the guns I got has to be shipped back to the company because it's shooting high for some reason don't know why and the sights are fully adjusted so they're gonna fix that or send me a new one but thank you guys subscribe leave a like and i'll see you in the next video